Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. And Lil Durk is charged in a murder for hire scheme. We're working right now to get more details on this investigation, but we know the 32 year old was arrested Thursday by U.S. Marshals in Florida and is being held in custody. Earlier this month, Banks was sued for his alleged involvement in the deadly shooting of another rapper in Chicago, FBG Duck. That happened four years ago. Weekly's family says Banks had a hand in that gang related shooting in 2020 in the city's Gold Coast neighborhood. Lil Dirk and his team didn't comment on that lawsuit, but of course, we'll be sure to provide you with an update when we learn more about the charges Banks is now facing. Wow, man, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, man. Become members in the membership. But what the heck is going on with Lil Dirk? What are you doing? Why would you do this, not only to, to your family, to your kids, to, your, to, to all the people that's dependent on you, why it to avenge what what some allegedly King Von or uh, you were just sued about uh, the, the the other guy uh, duck you know this 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 is crazy to me man like like when does it stop you young dudes man y'all running around here y'all caught up in such a bad situation trying to the internet got you guys moving here and moving there I'm hearing DJ academics I'm hearing all these different people expressing the fact of how much they care and how much they love you and they try to tell you but you're not listening now it's been a thing where i'm seeing that there was a wiretap involved that one of you got somebody in your camp it says the feds have a little dirt on wiretaps making threats to kill those who may testify against him don't you know they man don't you know they got these phones tapped you don't know that god dog man what is wrong with y'all you young dudes ain't never been through nothing because if you had, you wouldn't even be going this route. You know already, you, what is you talking for? It shouldn't be happening anyway, but the way you're doing it is sloppy. You guys are millionaires, man. You're throwing away everything, man. All this stuff you're going through, people have been through. I have been through situations where you guys should have learned from the people that came before you, but that's the problem. Nobody won't listen to the OGs. They'd rather listen to IG. Nobody won't try to figure out a way to, to live. Oh, they don't know. The old niggas don't know what they're talking about. So now you got OTF, all those guys following in behind you. They got you saying all this crazy stuff. They got them too. So OTF and all that, everybody going through a situation now because of the leader of this whole situation. I'm not trying to be hard on dirt, but you're a leader, man. You got to shut that down. And if it's the lifestyle where you want to get justification, then this is what happened with it. You got to forgive, bro. You can't do nothing. To, you can't bring him back. You couldn't bring King Von back through all this stuff. So I'm tripping off of it, man. I've been worried, thinking about this all day, worrying about the fact of, man, what's wrong with our young brothers out here, bro? Are y'all animals? And I can't lie. When I was young, I did some crazy stuff too. So I get it. But now I understand what them old folks were trying to tell me back then. If you live by the sword, you'll die by it. Stuff like that. You know, you know what, what's done in the dark going to come to the light. All that. Keep on. I'm going to give you something to, 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 to cry about. Uh, you can't catch no fish watching my line. Um, boy, listen, man. It, trouble is easy to get into, but it's hell to get out of. These are the sayings that the old folks would tell us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they got a place for you. This is the stuff they would say. You, oh, you bad? Oh, they got oh, they got a place for you. The old folks would tell you this. So now you get to now you get to deal with what you what you you okay. Hey, you made that bed, now you got to lay in it. All of these are sayings, bro. And I know people have came to you and tried to talk to you. I know people have tried to say, hey man, this ain't the route. Don't do this, man. You ain't got to slide, bro. But you still say, I'm just going to slide anyway. So if you slide in anyway, then you done slid it right into what you wanted to slide into. It don't make sense to me, man. I hate to see young brothers just getting locked up because I know what you're about to go into. I could have did life, man, behind the stuff I dealt with. I, I end up, I mean, y'all don't even know the half. You, you watch Boss Talk. You watch what we got going. You don't know me. But at the end of the day, it's a lot of stuff that people done been through. And I tell these guys in confidence, the ones I do rock with, hey, man, this is what I went through. I don't get out here and broadcast it or whatever, but I've been through enough to know that that ain't the right road you're going down, bro. 
the things that you about to face. Now you you done hurt everybody in your inner circle and people out of circle, your fans, everybody pretty much now. Pretty much they they, they you know it's a it's a wrap. Now you about to go through this crazy, crazy trial trying to figure this stuff out. And at the end of the day, it's gonna be crazy. And I'm tripping off of it. So I got OG Pyru, he done called in. We about to talk about it right now. Lil Dirk, why you got people with you that got wiretaps? Uh, what's up, OG? We I, I'm on Boss Talk One Hundred and One, man. We I'm I'm going in about this man, man. They done found out, man. Uh, they done heard you was right about the phone, man. I told you. They is on that phone that that been tapped the whole time. The whole time, phone conversation, bro. Phone conversation will get you five years in the federal penitentiary just for being on the phone. These dudes are talking loosely on this phone, bro. It is critical. They better learn something from this. Man, I'm telling you, and, and I hope the younger folk, because they already messed up, but maybe somebody younger or some of the other guys around them can get a clue. And I'm not trying to tell nobody how to do things. You shouldn't be doing it in the first place. But you out here raggedy, man. Man, I told you, uh, attorney told me in Houston, Texas, never say nothing on the phone that you can't say in court. Y'all around here loose lipping to your sisters, to your girlfriends about who did and who shot what. Man, you're going to the penitentiary. Let me, let me, I'm going to play this little part that, uh, uh, Wallow, man, I'm a big fan of Wallow and them over there, man. They tried to talk to Dirk. Listen to a little bit of this conversation. Hold on. When I was young, ain't too many give me the game. And I know ain't got no dads out here. You know? He he happy a grown ass man and he happy that his dad back. Grown. He's like, damn, because he missed that shit. They gave y'all game, they gave y'all game that was beneficial to them and it wasn't beneficial to y'all and it put y'all in a fucked up position in life. This is the first time in my life. Tomorrow I'll be out of penitentiary five fucking years. I've never been out of the penitentiary a year since I was 11. I spent five years in the juvenile system, 20 years in the penitentiary. I'm 42 years old. I spent most of my time on this planet in a cell. So I'm just sprinkling the game with y'all. Some of y'all going to get it, and I know some of y'all want to change, but the environment don't allow you. Y'all ain't got the shot. Wow. So that's, that's and, and see right there, that's Wallow talking to Dirk two years ago. Proud of this, telling him don't slide for King Von pretty much. Telling him it ain't worth it, bro. Telling him that, hey, I forgave the dude that killed my brother, man. The, and I went on about my business, went on about my life, man. Because he only, he's telling him that because he was locked up 20 years, he say. And not only that, he's 42, and he basically was locked up five years, I believe, in his juvenile. During his juvenile, he's locked up from 11. So he been locked up more than he been free. So he was trying to give him the game, man. But they didn't, they ignored that. And here you have it today. Allegedly, they ignored it because from what you're seeing in the media today, it don't seem like they listen at all. At all. One ear out the other. And that's, man, what do you say, OG, to the, these guys, these guys in these leadership roles like a Dirk who, who, who decides to slide? He got to be willing to deal with that, don't he? I mean, yeah, yeah, hey, they say if you grow it, you chew it. Wow. So, I mean, but, you know, you have this. Somebody was telling me one day, like, uh, how in the hell you call yourself the oldest Pyru, uh, uh, oldest active Pyru? And, and I concerned him. This is what happens when you have 20, 25 year old generals. They have no damn maturity. They don't know what they're doing. So the old saying, the blind leading the blind. Man, them old sayings. I was just talking about them old saying. Once them old sayings started kicking in, you know, what's done in the dark must come to the light. All that, all that's real conversation, OG. Real conversation. Man, but yeah, man, so yeah, Wallow tried to tell him. I looked at him, I said, like, damn, Wallow tried to tell him. I've been trying to get at Wallow too, man, because I really, really love, I love his story, and I love what, you know, for him to be out here really trying to maintain, you know, doing what he got to do. I, I respect that, bro, when a man done put that much time in the system to be young as he is, because he's still young to be 42, you know what I mean, 43 years old, he's a young man. But not, not in this dispensation, you're a triple OG because they dying at 16 and 20, getting life sentences at 23. So he's a triple OG. He's a triple OG like me. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he wasn't supposed to live to 42. He, he didn't beat his odds. Wow, man. Thank you so much, man. Hey, man, get in the comments, man. What do you guys think about Wallow trying to tell Lil Dirk a few years back? 
not to get go down this road and he ends up going down this road allegedly to these charges that are now being put against him and what do you guys think about the wiretap how og already called that early earlier last this morning uh, uh how them phones will do you but what do you guys think get in the comments let us know man it's boss talk 101 what a boss is talk boss is talk yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.